thing went on, and it was a $12 million deal on a building project down there. Uh, the good old boy system is alive and well in Oklahoma, truthfully. That's, that's just the way it is. Um, that's Dick. Harry was a guy who was fortunate enough to be issued a state credit card. There are about around 1,460 state credit cards issued. That doesn't include for higher ed, by the way. Uh, about 1,460 uh, state credit cards issued. They're so-called the P cards. And what they do is allow government employees to, to make purchases. The state auditor in 2006, it's been, it's been four years ago, uh, uh, Jeff McMahon, when he was still there, working with the penitentiary, uh, he, he, uh, he, he pointed out that fully one-fourth of the receipts are not getting back to the state. In other words, what he was saying was a fourth of what we spent, we don't know where it went. That was $192 million last year uh, of what we spent on pre-cards. A fourth of that, we don't know what's, what's now. Now, central purchasing has taken me to task on that. So here's what they've done. They have put online all of the purchases. But it's like, okay, here's Joe Smith. He purchased for $700 something at Walmart. It doesn't say what was purchased. So you don't really know. I mean, they've touted this system as, you know, solving the problem. The problem is, it doesn't have, you know, what merchandise was bought. And so we still have the same ongoing problem, I think. And uh, it hasn't been audited for now four years to really know. But there is a problem with state credit cards, you know, in Oklahoma. And it's something that needs to stop. Most businesses have figured this out. A lot of big businesses don't do credit cards. They do a reimbursement where you charge it on your credit card and then you get reimbursed to get the proper documentation. There's a hole in both state credit cards. I've often said we can save $100 million a year by fixing some of this stuff. And uh, I, I've just given you almost well, maybe more than enough to make that hundred million. But let me tell you about Mike. Mike was a guy who was an attorney, is an attorney, I'm an attorney, but he was an attorney who wanted to do work for the state of Oklahoma. And he had a friend who was a head of one of the departments of the state of Oklahoma. And as you may or may not know, in Oklahoma right now, there are no parameters. If you're an outside legal attorney for outside legal counsel, there are no parameters as to what you can pay, who gets the job? It's not a bid on situation that, like, unlike most everything else, you don't have to bid on uh, uh, a job as an attorney for any of the departments. Now, I had a bill four years ago now that would have required, it would have conformed us with most other states. It would have required a bidding process. If you're going to hire outside legal counsel, you've got to go, you've got to qualify with the case, and then you have to bid on it. Most states have passed that, but not Oklahoma. This guy was given a contingency fee contract on a case that was already settled. He made $50 million in one year of your tax dollars. Now, the Daily Oklahoma documented uh, about four or five months ago that outside of that, we still spend between 40 and, well, they said last year we spent $40 million on outside legal counsel. We know it's somewhere between 40 and $100 million a year. Now keep in mind, the Attorney General by law is supposed to handle these cases. That he's got 82 lawyers. It's not like he, you know, it's one of the biggest law firms in the state. There are some cases probably he's not qualified, fine. But there ought to be a bidding process to, turn, to determine who, who handles those cases. And in Oklahoma today, there's not. I've outlined for you how to save in excess of $100 million a year by management. Oklahoma is not poor. Oklahoma is poor to manage. And there are some things we can do about that. I believe we're going to have a Republican governor this next year. I believe, and I've talked to leadership on both the Senate and the House. I've talked to them and asked them and I've visited about these issues. There's a willingness to do it, but it's like anything else. There has to be some leadership. Someone has to stand up and say, this is what needs to be done and here's how you do it. And that's what I intend to do. I think as the keeper of the purse, you're in the best position to do that. Some would say, well, why can't can you just, you know, by fiat do that? No, because if you know anything about Oklahoma government, you know that nobody has much power in Oklahoma. It was designed that way. The, the governor cannot fire heads of departments. 
Most people don't know the governor cannot fire heads of departments. Only the Department of Public Safety is the only guy he can fire that's head of a department. So how do you make the guy over at the Department of Central Purchasing uh, responsible? Uh, you have to do what I think uh, FDIC is done. We used to deal with control of currency. There are rules that you have to live by. And if you don't live by them, you've committed a crime. And you know, banks know how to make money. Uh, with, with that, I, 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 you know, the least regulation in my mind is the best, the least you can have. But there's got to be some accountability in those departments. You can't have one guy, like in the $10 million case, making the decision. There has to be some dual controls. You can't count the money or the bank without some dual controls. It's what, I mean, we, we've got to institute some of this and stick out. So that's what I'm about. I want to see some of these management issues changed. I'd love to have your support. Appreciate the opportunity to come and visit with you tonight. I think I have the real world business experience to do it. Uh, and I think that's what it's going to take. I think it's going to take uh, someone who, you know, has had to make these decisions in the past in their business. Uh, you know, if you have skin in the fight uh, and you make a mistake, it could be your business. It's sure your paycheck. The problem with bureaucrats is that if they make a mistake, they still get their paycheck. And there is a different thought process. So thanks so much for your attention, and sometime I'll be able to answer your questions. So thank you. Thank you.